Hi guys, this is the WP Buddy, and today I want to show you how to use the Rich Snippets WordPress plugin that I wrote for you to easily uh, add schema.org microdata to your WordPress posts or pages. This microdata code snippets can be used to display the so called rich snippets on search results. Okay, if you haven't already installed the plugin, just click on plugins, add new, then click on upload. Choose your zip file and click on install now button. I don't do this now because I have already installed it. Then go back to the installed plugin section on your WordPress administration panel and search for rich snippets plugin and um, activate it. After that you will see that there is a new menu item displayed on the left which is called shortcodes. You can just click on it and if you haven't already installed the Rich Snippets plugin before, the following examples will be installed after the first activation automatically. Here you can find shortcodes like events, ratings, addresses and so on. But today I want to show you how to set up a new shortcode. I will use the rating example to show you how to do this, okay? But first I have to remove all the shortcodes and delete it permanently just to not confuse you right so go back to shortcodes and I click add new and I will add a title maybe rating is suitable for this and when I click outside of the title field you will see that a new shortcode will be generated this is a new shortcode that you can use later on your posts or pages. Okay, scroll down to HTML and PHP code. Uh, if you're not familiar with HTML or PHP, you can use the examples that I've just removed permanently. I am a lazy guy and therefore I will just copy and paste the code found on my website. If you want to you to do this as well. Just click on installation manual here on the right. This will redirect you to my website. And uh, you can click here rich snippets codes code examples. And on this page you can always find the latest HTML or PHP code snippets for the pre-installed examples. This is because there is no possibility to update already existing shortcodes when I get out a new version of the plugin. So if you think that there is something wrong with your snippet, just go to this page and copy and paste the new HTML code. Now I look after the rating snippet and click on the, on the icon here. All right, so that you can get the full code. I will copy this and go back to my snippet and I will paste this. All right. In the rating example, you can find some variables that are in uh, square brackets that can easily be changed with attributes. In this case, I have to add six attributes and you can just copy and paste the names inside the square packet. So I will do this here. Copy this. Uh, the reviewer. Copy this. The date reviewed the best, the worst, and the rating. All right. So this means that the attributes here and the values here get replaced in this HTML code. So you've seen already that the usage code, which is the actual short code, changes with the attributes you've added here. So um, you don't have to add the content attribute because this is 
the content within the short code and this will be replaced with the actual content and so I will show the I will show it later so you can understand what I mean um, click on publish to save the new short code and the next thing is that you can now use the newly formed short code here in your posts to pages so click on copy and I will add a new page add a new page open this in a new and um, let's say I give title a cup of tea <clears throat> and I will paste the code into here right so the item reviewed is a cup of tea the reviewer is me the name the date reviewed is maybe maybe today the best rating is maybe 10 the worst rating is 0 and I think that the cup of tea was a 7 okay and between the rating short codes you can add some description maybe this cup of tea was amazing all right Okay, um, that's pretty much it. To see whether this rich snippet will work, you can test it with the rich snippets testing tool. But before I publish this page, okay, I, you can find the rich snippet testing tool on this URL here, google.com slash webmasters slash tools slash rich snippets. You just have to add you, your URL to this page. So I copy and paste the URL and click on preview. And here you can see how it will look like in Google's search result. You can see that there is um, one vote and the rating of 7 out of 10 and this is the star rating which results alright when you scroll down you can see what Google can extract out of the current page you can find the creative work which was rated by you and here you can find um, the date published the author which is the item 1 the item 1 is here you can find this is the name and you can find the aggregate rating which is item 2 and item 2 has the actual rating values 7, 10, 0 and the rating count 1 alright and you can find more examples on my website as I said before or you can just build up your own short codes and rich snippets with shima.org just type in you in your browser schema.org and click on schemas and click on full list of types and here you can see what is possible all right I scroll down to the product section you can find products or you can find all the attributes you can add for a product, for a product snippet, or a product shortcode you can build. And Schema.org does also provide examples. Here is the example without Schema. And this is the example with Schema or microdata in this case. All right. You can just copy and paste this and change the variables and the values with your own stuff. Yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. And uh, I, really, I really hope that this helps a little bit to understand 
what rich snippets can do for you. Thanks for watching.